Welcome into another Sports Hub Patriots free agency reaction video. Alex Barth, Matt Dollar from 98.5, the sportshub.com. Elliot Wolf once again up late at night working, getting some signings done. So we weren't able to get back in the studio until now the following morning, but we've got a bunch to react to, including Josh Uche, Patriots edge rusher, is back on a one year, $3 million deal worth up to $8 million. Significantly less money, Matt, than we thought Josh Uche would get. Turns out it was significantly less money than he was offered, had multiple other offers on the table, including a two-year deal worth up to $15 million, but he wanted to stay in New England, and that's what happens. Yeah, big surprise. I mean, I didn't know that uh, Josh Uche wanted to stay here that bad. I don't <laughs> think anybody knew, really, so that's a surprise. It might have been a surprise from the Patriots' end of things. I'm not sure how badly the Patriots wanted to keep Josh Uche. He didn't play him much last year. He didn't seem like... Uh, too great of a fifth. Felt like maybe they could reset at that spot in the lineup, maybe in the draft or something like that, or bring in a different free agent. So I'm surprised that it turned out to be Uche that comes back and takes that spot back. And, you know, I wonder if it's – it sounds like he wants to be here, but he's also sort of making a bet on himself, right? Yeah. Because he had an offer for – I believe it was a two-year offer for up to $15 million. I don't know what you said. Oh, okay. I don't know if you even <laughs> said anything about it. I'm not. I'm not calling you out. What hosts don't listen. No, but I, th I believe it was two years. Fifteen million was one of the was yeah. one of the reported offers he had. So maybe he's saying like, look, if I can return to my uh, 2022 numbers when he had 11 and a half sacks, I believe, uh, if he can return to those numbers, he could probably get out close to that much money in one year. You know, so maybe he's making a bet on himself to see if he can restore his production and see if he can get a better deal elsewhere next year. I think that's part of what he's doing. And look, he's spoken highly of Gerard Mayo, and I think there probably is an element of he wouldn't come back. He wouldn't do the prove it year here if he didn't believe in the coaching staff and believe he could produce here. He believes in the coaching staff. He believes in the system. Demarcus Covington, Gerard Mayo, Elliot Wolf have talked about being more aggressive on defense. That's only going to help a player of his play style produce more. And yeah, I think I, he looks at it and he had the 11 and a half sacks two years ago. Matthew Judon got hurt this year. He got hurt this year. That hurt his production. But going into his age 26 season, if he has another year like that, he hits the market next year at age 27. If he'd been a free agent last year, I think you're talking about, you know, potential double digit AAV. So absolutely has the time to bet on himself. That seems like what he's doing. And for the Patriots, I think the good news here is we had talked a lot about edge rusher being a sneaky need, but you get him back, you get Anthony Jennings back. We'll do another video on Jennings. You can check out on the Sports Hub YouTube channel. Uh, you get those guys back. I'd still like to see them invest in maybe a project player late on day three at the edge position because it is only one year deal for Uche. You still have Judon on a one year deal, but for a team that has so many immediate needs in 2024, was edge rusher going to be one? I think now we can confidently say no, it is not. Yeah, I think outside linebacker, edge rusher, whatever you want to call yeah. it, defensive end, like those spots I think are still long-term needs for the Patriots. So that's something I would like to see them address in the draft, even if it is a day three pick, fourth round pick, something like that. But that's still a long-term need, especially if Josh Uche is just making a bet on himself to get more money next year from another team that probably wouldn't be the Patriots. For more on the Josh Uche signing, check out the description down below. We'll put the link to our coverage there. And of course, complete. Patriots free agent coverage on 98.5 thesportshub.com and tune in on 98.5. For Matt Dolph, I'm Alex Barr. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you on the next one.